For performance and value, the Shimano Ultegra Mechanical Disc Brake Group Set is, in my opinion, the best you can currently buy. In this video, I'm going to review the group set and tell you why I think it's a pick of the bunch. My first reason for absolutely loving this group set and why I'm recommending it is just the quality of the shift performance. Yes, the I2 and electronic group sets are lovely. You've got buttons to press, it's all very nice and make funny little sounds. But mechanical is so good. We've had years and years, decades of refinement. And this is probably as good as it will ever get, which is amazing. We've got really light, precise gear changes. Never misses a beat. It's flawless. It's so, so good. And it's so tactile as well. You don't get that when you're pressing a button. It's so lifeless and soulless. But you're moving a lever. You're actually connected to the rear mech, the front mech. And it's such a nice feeling. So yes, I like this group set. It's called Shimano Ultegra R8000, to give it its full name. Now, if you know Shimano's group set range, you know there's dual race at the top, as used by the pros. There's Ultegra in the middle, and then there's one of five. And between these three group sets, it covers a wide range of road bike prices, right from 1,000 pound entry level bikes, right up to 10, 12,000 pound super bikes. So three group sets that do a lot of work across the road bike industry. Below those, you have Tiagra, Sora, and Claris at the entry level. So plenty of offerings. And it's important to note that Shimano applies all its latest technology to Durace at the very top, then it eventually trickles down to Ultegra 105 and further. So eventually, all price points benefit from that technology first pioneered on Durace right at the top. Ultegra, like Durace above it, is available in both a mechanical version and DI2 electronic, and a choice of rim or disc brakes to suit your preference. Now, DIT was first introduced way back in 2011. I can't quite believe it's been that long. And I remember when it launched and all the internet comments were along the lines of, who needs this? We didn't ask for it, it'll never catch on. Well, they were wrong, weren't they? DIT is now hugely popular. It's used by all the pros in the pro peloton and many normal cyclists like you and I crave a DIT group set. And DIT is lovely, don't get me wrong. Nearly maintenance free, utterly peerless in a wide range of conditions, but it's a lot more expensive. Take the giant TCR as an example. This model with Ultegra Mechanical costs £3,599. And if you want a DIT version above it, you need to find another £1,000. And it's the same across the industry. DI2 commands a hefty premium over mechanical versions of the same group set, so a lot more money. Shimano has been refining and evolving its mechanical group sets for the last few decades, really. And this is probably as good as it will ever get. And with the current obsession with electronic group sets and wireless group sets, it's hard to see any manufacturer, even Shimano, investing much more money in mechanical group sets. And it's even harder to see where they can make improvements. Maybe a smaller hood shape, perhaps. Maybe faster shifts, if that's possible. But it's hard to see how they can make the group sets any better than it already is. And it does feel like they've reached a, a peak of what is possible with a mechanical group set. So I do think we're in a great place in the road bike uh, evolution at the moment with mechanical group sets as good as this. And I get why DI2 is popular. It's more tech. It's modern, state-of-the-art electronics versus traditional, old-fashioned gear cables. But is there actually any difference when it comes to shift speed when you're changing gear at the lever? In my opinion, after having tested both group sets over many years on many different bikes, I don't think there's really much in it. You can probably measure it in the lab down to milliseconds, but when you're out on the road, it's not all that noticeable. What I will say is that DI2 is idiot-proof. You press a button and the group set takes care of the rest, so it's really easy to use, really simple. It's great in adverse weather when you've got frozen fingers. And mechanical does require a bit more of a light touch from the rider, a bit of skill perhaps, but the latest mechanical is so good, you just push the lever, clicks to next gear, very easy. And the latest Shimano groups that's had much shorter throw than the previous version as well, so it's even easier than before. So give me mechanical, I'll pocket the save money, a few quid for new gear cables every year, and I'll be quite happy. And personally, I am glad that Shimano is still producing really good, high quality mechanical group sets like Ultegra and Durace. 
And we're seeing some companies, especially SRAM, who are really pushing the ETAP access wireless group set, which is fantastic, but to the demise of their old mechanical group sets, which they don't seem to be um, investing in anymore. It doesn't seem like that's a project they want to push. Now, I could be wrong. There could be a new red mechanical group set around the corner, 12 speed, that'd be great to see. Previous red uh, 10 speed, one of my favorite group sets, really lightweight and great ergonomics. But as much as I would love to see that, I don't think it's gonna happen. I think ETAP is clearly the jewel in their eye at the moment, and that's where their focus is. So I expect more ETAP being spread out throughout the price points. The other reason I absolutely adore Shimano Old Tegra Mechanical, it's a no battery to charge. No battery to run flat and ruin your ride, whether halfway through a ride or at the beginning. If you're a stupid idiot, like I have been in the past, and you've forgotten to charge your DIT battery. Because in Shimano's defense, the batteries do last a really long time. That means you should get to charge them up. And if you have the fortune to ride many bikes, like I do, I'm not bragging, they're just part of the job. It can be tricky to remember what bikes you charge up and which ones you haven't, unless you're organized, which I'm not. So sometimes you can uh, grab a bike out of the rack, the battery's flat, not so good. Never will happen with mechanical. Ergonomics is something that Shimano has absolutely nailed in the last few years. And while the hoods are a bit bigger than DIT, they still fit really nicely in the hands. Got a really nice feel, really nice shape, nice texture material on a rubber hood. Nice and grippy when you're riding in the summer with no gloves. And the levers have a nice shape, so they're easy to reach, whether in the hoods or on the drops. They're just really nice fit and function. Anybody who knows me and has read any of my reviews over the last few years will know I do like disc brakes. And no, I don't get a big fat check from the disc brake industry every month. Just based on many years of testing bikes, rim and disc brakes, and for my riding and where I live here in the Cotswolds, disc brakes just suit me and I like them. End of. This hydraulic disc brake group set from Shimano is probably the best on the market right now. It's got really nice lever feel, a great modulation, a firm, you can easily apply all the power you need with one finger. You can apply as much power as you need or as little as you need. There's no fear of locking up or grabbing too much brake lever. It's such a nice group set to use. Yes, it's a little bit heavier, but you know, weight isn't everything. So there we go then. My summary on the Shimano Ultegra Mechanical Hydraulic Disc Brake Group Set and why I think it's the best you can currently buy. If this video prompted any questions at all, don't hesitate to get down to the comment section below and ask away. I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, but that's all for now. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this and you want more content like this. Uh, but stay safe, keep pedaling, and I'll see you all again soon.